Oli Alexander's father said he was surprised audiences did not connect with his son's song at the Eurovision. Oli, who represented the UK with his song Dizzy, received zero points from the public vote and finished 18th overall at the Malmo Arena in Sweden. David Thornton said performing at the final was still a fantastic learning experience for his son. Mr Thornton told the BBC from his Eurovision party in Sheffield, it's one more step to wherever H is going. Ollie, who was born in Harrogate, North Yorkshire, received a total of 46 points from the jury but nothing from the public vote. I enjoyed every minute of it, said Mr Thornton. To me it's a real surprise the public didn't sort of connect with that song, though the juries gave it a really good score. The former Years Years singer, 33, had been criticized on social media for his weak and off-key vocals during the semi-final on Tuesday after his mic pack fell off during his performance. He later defended his singing on ITV's Lorraine, saying, I had a slight wardrobe malfunction, my mic pack fell off, and had to improvise but that's fine, it's live TV, it happens. Despite the UK's disappointment, Mr Thornton said one should always look on the dizzy bright side. This is going to be a fantastic learning experience for him, H has had a wonderful time out there. It is just one more step in wherever H is going to go next. Meanwhile, Switzerland won the contest with a total of 591 points. Swiss singer Nemo performed The Code, a mix of opera and hip-hop and became the first non-binary artist to win the Eurovision. In their victory speech on stage, Nemo said, I hope this contest can live up to its promise and continue to stand for peace and dignity for every person in this world. Croatia came second with the energetic party anthem Rim Tim Targi Dim by Baby Lasagna with a total of 547 points and Ukraine third with 453 points.